No, August, I have not forgotten about you or my friends in the rain, for I think of all of you very often. I will always remember how you, your family, and your friends helped me from being captured by the Germans. That was over two years ago, and a lot of things have happened to me since. When I left you on November 10, 1944, they took me to infantry headquarters in the Maginot Line. The next few days were spent in a hospital in Verdun. From there, I went to various headquarters in Nancy, Gentilly, Paris, and finally Washington. By Christmas 1944, I reached my home in Milwaukee. That visit to my home was the beginning of a very unhappy period in my life. This was the first time that I had been with my family for two years. So you can imagine how shocked I was upon learning that my dear father had died on October 18, 1944. That Christmas was a very unpleasant one. My father was gone. Two of my brothers had joined the army and were serving on the front, and another brother, who was studying to be a priest, had transferred to a seminary about a thousand miles from home. After remaining at home for a month, I returned to military duty, but I spent the next six months in rest camps and hospitals. When the war ended with Japan, I left the army, but I was placed in a hospital once again. To add to my troubles, my sweetheart married another young man about a half a year later. So you see, August, life was not going very well for me. There is no man in the world that I owe more to than you, August. I feel as if our good friendship can never die. I can still picture everyone the day I left hunting in November. We all seemed to have tears in our eyes when we parted. That was a good indication that our friendship was sincere. And August, I am positive that it has always remained that way. Your Norbert